About 1,100 Missourians will get their first shot of the Pfizer vaccine today over at Ray Peck High School. The two day vaccination event is Cass County's largest to date. Yesterday, about 1,100 people got their shot. The health officials say that you do need an appointment for the drive through event. They say all spots are full. Children's Mercy Hospital hosts its own clinic today from 8 to 2 at the Kansas Hospital on West 110th Street in Overland Park. This is for anyone 16 to 22 years old living in Kansas. To qualify, you either need to be a minority or have a chronic disease like cancer or heart condition. Appointments are required. Similar event will be held on the Missouri side next weekend. New this morning, a parent in the Blue Valley School District is now challenging the district's mask mandate for students and staff. Because of that, district leaders will hold a special hearing Tuesday morning at 10. The hearing is now required because of a recently passed emergency response bill signed into law in Kansas. Originally called Senate Bill 40, the law lets any employee, student, or parent who's unhappy with a COVID-related rule request a hearing to contest it. Then if they don't like what the school board has to say, their decision, they can sue to, to ask the state to overturn it. District released a statement, a spokesperson writing in part, masks continue to be an important part of the district's COVID-19 mitigation efforts to keep all students in school full time. Kansas has confirmed its first case of the South African variant of the coronavirus. Patients, the patient is in Finney County, that's out west near the Colorado border. Health officials are looking into how the person was infected and if others have been exposed. Researchers are still looking into how severe this variant can be and how quickly it spreads. If you can't leave home to get the vaccine, you may be in luck. In Missouri, the Central Jackson County Fire Protection District is bringing shots directly to people who are homebound. Crews hope to vaccinate about 100 people with the single dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Any ability to help our most vulnerable populations out in our community is just a great opportunity for us to serve and make sure that they're taken care of. If you're homebound or a caregiver for someone who is and need help signing up for a vaccine, call the Mid America Regional Council helpline at 816 421 4980. CDC says it is now safe for people who are fully vaccinated to travel within the U.S. as long as they wear a mask, but it is still not recommended by the CDC. Bit of mixed messaging there. Health experts say Americans who are two weeks past their final shot do not need to get a coronavirus test before or after trips, and they don't need to quarantine after traveling, but people should get tested. They say you need a negative result before coming back into the U.S., from a foreign country. New guidelines from the CDC there. Headed into our second Easter weekend in a pandemic, President Biden is calling on all Americans. Don't let your guard down. Cases are going up again. The virus is spreading more rapidly in many places. Deaths are going up in some states. So I ask, I plead with you, don't give back the progress we've all so fought so hard to achieve. Now, doctors are watching carefully to see if case numbers spike in the coming weeks after the holiday weekend. They point out transmission of the coronavirus is much higher right now than it was this time last year. The Jackson County, Missouri Health Department is moving on from its online interest form. Health officials are now using a community calendar to show available vaccine appointments. Website is at the top of your screen here, jacohd.org slash events. If you already filled out a survey and are still waiting to get vaccinated, don't worry, you don't have to do anything. County will get in touch with you when an appointment is available. Missouri makes a major move in the fight against the virus. Coming up in just six days on Friday, Show Me State will join Kansas in opening its vaccination program to everyone over the age of 16. 706 right now, you know, everybody loves free stuff, right? Well, now Americans who've gotten a coronavirus vaccine can take advantage of many different deals out there. Several companies are offering perks and rewards to people who show them their vaccination card. Ixa Diaz is watching the deals from our Washington Bureau. Cody, free donuts, free rides, free cash. Companies are getting creative. They're rewarding people who are getting vaccinated while also getting them back into their businesses. Krispy Kreme is offering a free donut a day for the rest of the year when you show your completed COVID-19 vaccination card. Staples and Office Max are laminating those cards for free. Uber and Lyft are offering free or discounted rides to and from vaccination sites. Fortune magazine says the list of companies offering freebies for getting vaccinated is growing. All of these things help bring customers into the stores or in Uber and Lyft's case, get them back into the cars. And so it gets people back into the flow of their old routines in a quicker way. 
Um, and once they're vaccinated, they're safer customers. You have, don't have to worry as much about your employees. So it's a good business strategy um, in addition to being a good PR move. Employers are also offering perks, rewarding their workers with paid time off or cash bonuses if they get the vaccine. Kroger is giving employees a $100 store credit and $100 cash for getting a shot. Publix, the grocery store, is giving a $125 gift card to employees. Um, so there's, uh, there's a big push by businesses to get their employees vaccinated as well. Small businesses are also taking part in some of these promotions, whether it be local shops or restaurants. So look for some of these deals in your community. In Washington, I exit as KNBC 9 News. And we know some movie theaters and even arcades are offering promotions to vaccinated customers, hoping to ramp up business once again. We got you covered on ways to sign up for your shots. Go to KNBC.com, click how to get a vaccine option to find out how and where you can sign up.